I'm Carl Anthony for AutoSense TV, and we're here at AutoSense Detroit 2019 at the Michigan Science Center with over 450 delegates, one of those delegates being Omnivision. We have the opportunity today to speak with Boyd Fowler, the company's chief technology officer. And Boyd, so good to see you here today at AutoSense. Very good to see you also. So a lot of exciting things happening here for Omnivision. So just tell us, just what do you have on display here for attendees to see? So we have several things right now. One thing is our new high dynamic range uh, solution, which gives customers the ability to see, for example, in the dark at the same time as you can see in very bright situations. For example, in a tunnel, you might want to actually see the cars that are right next to you. At the same time, as you're looking outside the tunnel to actually see what's going on. So that's one of our solutions. Another one is our RGB IR solution, which we're um, looking for in-cabin application, so in an in-cabin application, often you're going to want to monitor the driver. But when you monitor the driver, especially for example in the evening, you don't have any natural light. You're going to want to be able to illuminate the, the person you're looking at, but you don't want the light to disturb them. And so you could imagine if you had a white LED and turned it on, it would be very disturbing if it was right in your eyes while you were driving. So we use an infrared LED that humans can't see, and this enables us to watch what they're doing. So we see if they're drowsy or if they're distracted or other kinds of things for in-cabin monitoring. And so RGBIR is actually a new technology that's very you know, exciting for in-cabin monitoring systems. One of the other exciting technologies we were talking about a moment ago was LED flicker mitigation, and you came up with some really great analogies to explain that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that technology. Sure, LED flicker mitigation technology is a technology we've developed that allows us to get rid of problems associated with LEDs. So LEDs for signage as well as LEDs in cars are not driven as a DC source. They actually, it's an AC waveform. And because of that, when the image sensor, which is capturing frames, is not timed properly to the LED, what ends up happening is one frame, the LED looks like it's on. The next frame, the LED looks like it's off. And so why is this a problem? Well, you could imagine that if you have a sign and you're driving by it, and let's say the sign over the day changes the speed limit. Maybe, let's say in the afternoon it's 80 kilometers an hour, in the morning it might be 100. If you're driving by in the afternoon and you can't see the sign because it's flickering, and so therefore during the frame that you're looking at, you don't see it, you may be driving 100 kilometers an hour, this would obviously be a problem. You could be pulled over. Another application that's a big issue is imagine you have a police car or a fire truck behind you. You actually see the lights flashing. You think, oh, no, I'm being pulled over. There's a problem where nothing's happening at all. These are just normal LEDs. So this is a key issue for any application. It has to do with e-mirrors, with surround view, or with rear view. And so in those applications, LED flicker mitigation is absolutely critical to make sure that the image looks the same way that you would see with your human eye. And Boyd, with that in mind, so that was one of the exciting technologies you had here. Yes. There was a second one called Hail, yes. and it's my understanding that that's fairly new. That's a recently that's a recent announcement. Can you tell us a little bit about Hail and what it what it is? Sure. Hail is in our newest products, and the idea is that in the past you've either developed image sensors and systems that can deal with LED flicker mitigation or sensors that have high dynamic range, but you didn't have something that could do both. And so what HALE enables us to do is have both very good LED flicker mitigation at the same time to have very wide dynamic range. This enables you to be able to have all of the um, issues associated with not seeing you know, flickering signs, not seeing flickering you know, lights from cars, but at the same time I can see in a tunnel. And so I can see the dark areas in the tunnel as well as the very, very bright areas outside. It's so interesting to me how you create and design these technologies. Tell us about the background of the people that you have working for you, the engineers that you have on staff. I mean, how do you create all of these interesting technologies? How, is, how do you make this work? We have 1,600 employees across the globe right now. We have close to 1,000 engineers that are working on this that in all different countries, from uh, Norway to China, the U.S., all over. And People are working on many different aspects of this technology that include development of the image sensor itself, the pixels, the circuitry, and then we also have people working on algorithms to develop things so that they can actually integrate all of these different interesting signals that come off of our image sensors to produce this high dynamic range as well as LED flicker mitigation. So we have many different groups in many different countries that are all working together to give our customers these solutions. 
So Boyd, with that in mind, you have this talented core of engineers, this exciting core of new technology. Mm -hmm. What are the opportunities like going forward? How do you see OmniVision being an innovator as we progress here in the future? I think one of the key areas that we're focused a lot on right now is in-cabin monitoring. Inside of a cabin, there's this is kind of a new open area. You know, in the past, you know, rear view cameras were the big thing. Now today we're looking at surround view as well as e-mirrors. I think the next, you know, frontier is what happens inside the cabin. What is the, you know, what is the driver doing? What are the passengers doing? And I think this is very, very important for safety. And so you could imagine if someone is drowsy, they're falling asleep. It would be nice if your car pointed that out and maybe just pulled you to the side nicely. You know, you could also imagine that if you're texting, and you know, it shouldn't be, it warns you that there's a problem. Or it actually takes over control of the car while you're texting so that you don't smash into someone. So in-cabin monitoring, I think, is the next generation of real safety for, for automobiles. And the same thing is true for in-cabin monitoring for the back seat. What happens if your children get out of their safety, you know, their child seat? Many things can go wrong in a car, and so it's very nice to be able to monitor this. Boyd, I want to make sure that we don't miss anything, so any last minute thoughts or anything to add that uh, we may have missed? No, I think that's pretty good for today. Boyd, from all of us here at AutoSense and AutoSense TV, we want to wish you good luck in the future and thank you for being part of our event here in Detroit in 2019. Thank you very much, it was my pleasure. Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV with Boyd Fowler today, the Chief Technology Officer of OmniVision. For more AutoSense TV, like, subscribe, and share.